as its critics. But one young Montreal entrepreneur is trying to balance profit with a socially conscious payoff. Andrew King has tonight's Power of One. For Guy Foody, business is overflowing. And it's not work. It's, it's what I wanted to do. He had a thirst for more than just a steady job. So he took the plunge by starting a bottled water company, Maji, Swahili for water. And its mission is simple. 25% of gross sales go to creating water-based projects in developing countries. I knew it was going to be water. And then my brain lit up and was like, well, why don't you do water for water? This is so simple. The money will help build wells and water pumps for those who need it most. Um, like I always say, the more I sell, the more I can give away. So I'm just trying to sell a lot. On the label, I wanted to have something that represents the world. Now he gets a kick out of seeing Maji on the shelf. It's a very good feeling. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a very good feeling. I mean, look at all the brands that are here and then to have mine up here and doing very well and getting supported. It's kind of surreal though. Yeah, actually, I, don't, I haven't like really soaked it in yet, but it's like makes me makes me proud inside. Even though he's yet to post a profit, the projects have already started. The social entrepreneur traveled to Nicaragua to build wells. It's this kind of initiative that's garnered support for the 27-year-old. McGill's V. Hangarunza acts as Guy's advisor. He's heard his share of idealistic business pitches. You don't find people who are idealistic, very passionate about something and willing to put, you know, resources into it and, and, and work hardly, diligently to, to get it done. This is very unusual. The expert in developing economies decided to give this one a chance. He had an idea which made sense as a social business. Maji also caught the eye of a McGill student. I'm hoping that it can, like, you know, open the door to a lot more health initiatives and give me some, like, practical experience that, you know, not learning about stuff in the classroom is great, but it's nice to see what goes on, you know, abroad. Even with a lot of support, he knows that building a successful business won't be easy. It takes money, but I'm going to get there one day. I'm not, well, day by day, right? I mean, from here to two years, a year to now, you know, I'm going to get there one day. With the projects and the people Maji is helping his motivation, he's confident he will. Andrew King, CTV News.